Well, hello everyone. Today we are talking about HIV PrEP. PrEP stands for pre-exposure prophylaxis. This is a medicine to help someone avoid from getting an HIV infection. We're going to talk a little bit about who is likely to benefit from this, uh, how effective it is at preventing HIV. We're going to talk about what monitoring you need. And then if you happen to be in the U.S., we're going to talk a little bit about how to find a prescriber, how to afford this medication, and which options are available here in the U.S., and why one of them isn't uh, FDA approved for women. So a lot to go through. There's going to be some time links below and a lot of resources that I reference here will also be linked below. So who is likely to benefit from HIV PrEP? That is someone who falls into two specific categories. The first category is that they do not have HIV currently, and the second category is that they are at risk of getting it. Now, lots of folks have risk of HIV exposure. Uh, that it is usually classified as someone who shares needles, has a partner who shares needles, uh, has an HIV known positive partner, someone who's had uh, numbers of STI or STD infection um, exposures in the past, someone who's used multiple doses of post-exposure prophylaxis in the past. If you have risk factors and you are not currently HIV positive, you might be a candidate for HIV PrEP. How effective is HIV PrEP? And this is wonderful news. Currently, the CDC is listening to HIV PrEP is essentially 99% effective for preventing against sexual transmission. Uh, if you're looking at bloodborne transmission from needle exposure or something like that, some of the numbers can be a little lower. Uh, but it's very, very effective at reducing the actual odds of an HIV infection from an exposure. There's an important notice thing here. There are things that HIV PrEP does not do. It does not prevent pregnancy. It does not prevent other STIs and STDs, so sexually transmitted infections and diseases. It does not prevent from other things, but it's very, very good at preventing HIV. So let's say that you and your physician decide to start HIV PrEP. What sort of monitoring should you be doing? Current guidelines suggest that every 90 days you should be checked again to make sure that you are not positive for HIV. Remember, HIV PrEP is a way to prevent HIV. The treatment for an active HIV infection is a completely different protocol. And while it may include some of the same medications, it needs to follow a different process. So you'll need to get checked for HIV every 90 days. You'll also want to be checking your kidney function because these medicines are complicated. And if you start losing kidney function, they can become uh, issues. So you need to get that dealt with. You'll need hepatitis uh, infection testing. Uh, those who are female will need pregnancy testing. There are a number of things to follow up on. But again, this is very good at preventing HIV. It just takes a little bit of follow-up. What are your options? Here in the U.S. where I practice, the FDA has approved two different options. Their brand names currently are Truvada and Descovi. If you happen to be a female who is hoping to prevent sexual transmission of HIV, currently your only option is Truvada. That does not mean that Descovi has been proven to harm biological females. Uh, it just means that they were excluded from the trials. Uh, the United States has a complicated trial process. There are um, a number of ethical arguments about particularly pregnant females often being uh, excluded from trials. Uh, but for whatever reason, uh, they were excluded from this one. Hopefully, we can get them included in more in the future and we can get more options available for everyone. But currently, Truvada and Descovi, if you happen to be a female seeking to prevent sexual transmission, your option would be Truvada. So if you happen to be in the U.S. and you're trying to find someone to prescribe HIV PrEP to you, how do you find someone? Well, if you already have a primary care provider, depending on what state you're in, um, you can, I'll probably have someone who can provide it. So everyone can write this prescription. Uh, some people don't necessarily think that they have the, the monitoring set up allowed, so they don't really do it because they don't think it's appropriate for them. But most primary care physicians can do it. Most public health departments can do this. Infectious disease departments at your local academic hospital can absolutely do this. But if you don't have access to someone, you're not, you don't have the ability to get a referral, you can actually use the link that I'm going to put up here. This is the provider locator for folks who have specifically told the government that they want to be tracked as someone who offers PrEP. And this is another resource that you can use to find someone who can help you get the care you need. Now, again, this in the U.S. is a little centric to us as opposed to the rest of the world where they might have some different payment models for how they handle health care. Uh, but affording medication is a big concern here for a lot of people. And HIV PrEP is no exception to that. So um, a lot of places that provide this actually have counselors who help you navigate the payment systems and apply for assistance programs if you don't have the financial means. Uh, but if you don't have that, the CDC has a basic chart of some ways that you can kind of start down the pathway if you don't have a medical person to help you walk through that. And I'll include that link below so that you can find that because it is important that if you have a lot of exposure that you try and find a way to get access to the HIV PrEP because it really is pretty good 
at avoiding HIV infection. So we just went through a lot of information there about HIV PrEP. If you have any questions, please post them below. And uh, hopefully this can be helpful to you. Hopefully this can be helpful to somebody else. Share it to them if you think that might be useful to them. Uh, do the best you can to be safe. Do the best you can to reduce your risks. Uh, use condoms for uh, S other STI, STD protections. Use HIV PrEP for HIV protection. Um, just try and practice uh, the safest life that you can out there. Have a good day, y'all.